Hey guys, so I'm responding to uh, Thunderfoot's video about the Cordoba um, initiative. So there's a um, few things that I found wrong, in my opinion, with this video. Uh, first of all, uh, Thunderfoot, um, I, I don't think your video has any point. Uh, you say that uh, Muslims have the right to build near uh, Ground Zero, but what? What's your conclusion? See, since they have the right, all the right in the world to build there, you only have one option to convince the builders not to build there. But the video, to me, didn't look like it was targeted towards the builders in order to convince them not to build it. So it just seemed like a really pointless rant, unless, of course, um, you are threatening the builders. Um, don't build near Ground Zero or we will hate you forever. And I don't think that's productive at all. Um, secondly, um, you do a great disservice to the Muslims of America. Um, they are more educated and have a higher standard of living than Americans overall. Um, they are doctors and they're engineers. Uh, these, are, these guys are not Saudi Muslims. They are very open-minded, um, at least the ones I know, and I'm pretty sure overall. And the Saudi thing has nothing to do with this. Um, on your point of reciprocation, why should we reciprocate something that we already know is unfair? We already know that the Saudi Sharia law is unfair. So why should we show that same prejudice in our country? What does that make us? And that goes to your biggest mistake. See, you have it backwards. By allowing the mosque to be built, we aren't taking a lesson of tolerance from them. We are giving a lesson of tolerance to all those Muslims that don't allow other points of view. This action will humble those Muslims all over the world. Um, we are turning the other cheek right now. Christ didn't say those words because he wanted us to be beaten to a pulp. Uh, he, he said it because it makes us stronger. It doesn't make us weaker. Um, see, see the thing, uh, I, I'd like to add something real quick about um, the, Cordo the name Cordoba. Um, it is indeed the name of a city that was captured by Muslims in Spain. But uh, you know what else it's famous for besides the fact that it was captured? In Cordoba, Muslims, Christians, and Jews lived as neighbors peacefully. Um, it, is an, it is a huge symbol of tolerance in the ancient world. And that's why they named it that. It wasn't a message of conquest. It was a message of tolerance. Now, even if it was a message of conquest, it doesn't make any sense. Muslims are not conquering America anytime soon. Uh, I'm sorry to say. They're only 3% of the population. I don't think they'll succeed. Uh, but even if they were trying to conquer uh, America or this was some sort of secret message, the kind that creationists believe, the kind that um, uh, birthers believe, the kind that Tea Partiers believe, some secret message that is infiltrating society, even if it is that, um, the best method to defeat that would be still to turn the other cheek. Gandhi did it against the largest empire the world had ever seen, the British Empire. Martin Luther King did it, and he was an oppressed minority. Well, here we are the majority of the country. There is no way that we're going to lose from the building of the mosque by turning the other cheek, since it has such a good track record. In fact, quite the opposite is true. As you see, there are reports out there that the Taliban is using this controversy to recruit members. Let's defeat the real villains of 9-11. Everyone knows now, after 10 years, 9 years in Afghanistan and in Iraq, we cannot bomb these uh, the Taliban to submission. We cannot bomb Al-Qaeda to su submission. We only have one choice, and this is that choice. This is the perfect opportunity to make that choice. The Taliban are brainwashing poor, uneducated Muslims in backwater pa Pakistan into thinking that their way of life is threatened, their religion is threatened. So they join the movement. They join the jihadi movement. So here we have a perfect opportunity to show those Muslims, those uneducated Muslims, that they have no reason to fear America. They have no reason to, to fear about uh, our level of tolerance towards them. That is the only way we can defeat the Taliban. Now one last thing I want to say. This so-called controversy is simply a distraction from the real issues of the election. Remember that every time you hear this uh, issue being broadcast, 
Anyway, let me remind you of just one issue right now that's important. Uh, Representative Tom Ryan is pushing for a budget that cuts from Social Security, cuts from Medicare, cuts from defense, so our actual defense um, and education. So this is a real threat from intolerant Taliban Muslims or whatever, cutting from defense, right? Not some vague secret message from this mosque. So we have a real threat for our security. We have social security, Medicare, education, all being cut by these by Tom Ryan. Now, who is Tom Ryan? He's the top Republican of the House Budget Committee, and he will be chairman of the House Budget Committee if uh, Republicans take Congress this November. So if you're going to vote this November, which do you think, which of these issues do you think should be, should you be concerned with? And which issue do you think Republicans want you to be concerned with? Keep that in mind the next time you see this controversy anymore.